This is Bumper to Bumper TV. The sound is familiar to legions of drivers who have been enthralled with the original pony car for a half a century. The look has evolved into something more contemporary with a hint of throwback in its lines. But if you think the 2015 Mustang is just a warmed over version of the previous model, get ready to have your reasoning turned on its head. Ford is going all in with this model with three power plants. Drivers have a choice. First, there's a 3.7 liter V6 which turns out 300 horsepower and 280 foot-pounds of torque. And then there's the new inline turbo assisted 4. It's rated at a fire breathing 310 horsepower and 320 foot-pounds of torque. In a week of driving it proved that it had more than enough low and mid-range power to run with the big boys on the open road or open up some space and stop and go driving. It makes us wonder why Ford even bothers to offer the V6. Now, for the performance purist, the real thrill comes in the GT version. The power here comes from a 5 liter V8 delivering a very respectable 435 horsepower and 400 foot-pounds of torque. Since the GT has all of the slam you back on the seat power, the optional Recaro seats match up well. It is worth noting that getting in and out of them sometimes requires a degree of personal flexibility. All of this potential is wonderful, but what can you do with it beyond daily commuting and maybe having a moment of glory at a traffic light? The engineers recognized that the right combination of steering and suspension settings changed the driving experience. And so now, the Mustang comes with options from comfort to normal to sport for both systems. And what we like is the ability to mix and match to our liking. Now does this mean it's track ready? No, but it's very close. For the record, all of these variations run on 87 octane regular unleaded fuel. We found the typical fuel economy ranging from 26 to the gallon in city driving for the EcoBoost 4 to about 19 to the gallon for the V8 under same circumstances. When the Mustang was first launched in 1965 as an experiment on a Falcon platform, Ford had no idea it would create a new segment in the industry or a cultural icon. Now, 50 years later, through ups and downs, the car continues to capture the imagination of drivers who want just a little bit of the performance experience while dealing with the 9 to 5 grind of daily life. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.